I looked up and I saw a hand pop up. That has to be a lie. That has to be a lie. That has to be a lie. Again. What's going on here, but there's no earphones in my car. There's no earphones in my car. And, and I, I, I rolled by this man three times. He rolled by me, but doing nothing. Watch a prostitute and, and, and other people that's trying to buy this. That's what he was looking at. And then finally caught a car on violation, but they didn't even have no violation. It was all brand new. They had just bought it, so they couldn't get those or whatever it was. So they had to go. Called another car and says I had earphones. But all this whole 40 minutes, the time that you've been circling, you never came in yourself and pulled me up. I've been seeing you for 40 minutes. 40 minutes. That's a long time to say that you're busy doing something. I guarantee you there's not a call in between that 40 minutes when this car came right here, right next to me at the same time. So I'm trying to figure out what is it doing that was so busy to where you couldn't pull me over for the violation that you said I committed. But yet, when you finally pulled someone else over, you saw that I was still. Hey, if you're gonna put a complaint, you should do a public records request on them first. Then put a complaint so you can get all evidence. Don't just put a don't just put a complaint first. Put a place a public records on them. Then place your public your your complaint because you're gonna have evidence through their video and their radio calls and the cat report. So I give it. Give the, I give the complaint to who? First, you place a public records request on them. You get all evidence of what you are claiming. Then you place the, the complaint based on what evidence you have. Yeah, don't do that. That's, a, that's how I get them screwed. Ask for a case number and that's all you need. Educate you right now, bro. I love that. Trust me, dude. Trust me. I'm so impressed right now for half a million dollars right now. Man, let me tell you what just happened. I drove by the car. No, I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna make sure that it's in. I got to No, first you place the public records. You have to wait 10 to 14 days to get your your stuff. It's a process, bro. It's not right away. Okay. It's a process. So I do the complaint after I go through the record. After you have your public records request and all that, if they deny you, you can subpoena them through the court. And then there, if they deny your public records and you subpoena them, you can sue them for that as well. Trust me, do you're looking at money if they violate your rights. I'm not giving you a legal advice. No, I tell you I that. Like that. Yeah. I'm not giving you a legal yeah. advice. Just, just for you to know. Yeah, to know. But trust me, dude. Yeah. I'm suing this was right now. So trust me. Yeah. Constitutional yeah. Yeah. Can we get your name and badge number? Yeah. Uh, Sergeant Keeney, K E E N E Y. Badge number is S148. Can I ask what you pulled over? I didn't pull over. Oh. I can um, the officer said when I drove by, he was parked on his motorcycle with helmet off on his phone. As I drove by, I drove by him, flipped the circle, came back around from the Arco, drove right by him again, came in here and parked. I sat here for 40 to 50 minutes, almost a full hour. The motorcycle cop pulled over another car to find them in violation, but he lets him go. Was it that one over there? That guy right there. Then he calls another, yeah. he calls another car, he called another car to come pull me over and said that he saw me with earbuds. I don't even have earbuds in my car. I have no earbuds whatsoever. You know what, I'm gonna go place it. I'm gonna go ask him for his name. I'll be right back. Because he wouldn't give it to me. Uh, he's gonna give, he it, to not give it to me. And, 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 and what happened was, what happened was... Hey, is it the one in the bike? Hey! Hey, is it the one in the bike? Huh? Is it the one in the bike? Yeah, the one on the bike okay. and this one in the car. Okay. Man, I'll, man I'm, I'm gonna call you. Man, like I said, I've been sitting here for 40 minutes. The first thing came up. Alright. Hey, 
Can I have your name? Both of y'all's name? Yeah, you can provide their name. What's your name? Dominic Green, dash 1771. How about yourself, sir? Hey, what's your name? Sorry, he's 1387. It's your policy. You're not supposed to wait for your sergeant, dude. You haven't read your policy? Make sure you read your policy. Yeah, go back to work. You're dismissed now. That's it. Hey, right, hey, so right now, right now, he had to ask the, uh, the uh, sergeant to see if he was allowed to give us his name. See there? Yeah. So the sergeant told him, oh yeah, like you're allowed to. Like you're allowed to, they need it. That's what I told him. I asked him. Huh? I asked for both, I, as I asked him on the cop, mm -hmm. he didn't want to give it to me, then I asked the dude in the car, he was about to give it to me, uh -huh. but the dude on the bike told him, let's go. Let's so go. he was like, oh, you got it. So I'm gonna explain you this. This is not a legal advice, right? Understand. Just for you to be aware. I'm not giving you legal you. advice, all right. That's what I like. First. You have to place a public records request. Public records. When you place a public records request, you need your incident number or your ticket. You're gonna state the date, time, place, where the event took place, like right now, mm -hmm. with, the, with the cops. So, um, and then you're gonna place your public records request. CAD report, um, which includes um, uh, everything about you or what happened, like the incident report. Um, you need that, you need body camera footage, radio calls, everything. Once you have that and you place your public records request, they have 10 days for them to answer hmm. to you to tell you, yes, we're going to provide your public records request or we're going to, going to deny them based on this. They're going to say, oh, it's the officer's file, we can't, blah, 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 blah. But if you get a lawyer, your lawyer can subpoena them through the court. If they refuse to provide you with public records request, which you're legally entitled to, that's a violation, that's a lawsuit. So just by them denying you, you have a lawsuit. So once they deny it, you watch and you read all evidence. Mm -hmm. you, you watch a police report, a video evidence to see if it matches the police report, everything that he has written down. And then based on that, you place your public records request. With timestamps and everything. I'm hoping they deny me. Yeah. That's what I want. Well, trust me. I want the deny. They deny me. They, they don't know. I, I, they, deny the they, they, they deny me. They deny me. I'm not 41 for nothing. They I'm deny not me. Parole, but I, I, I don't busy. I'm living life. Yeah. Got a job, a house. I've coached. Before. You know that's that for right away. He's like. He probably knows about us. Man, I'm to listen, I, I coach professional basketball here in Fresno. I was the varsity basketball coach at Roosevelt. Because I'm chilling in the neighborhood I grew up. I know this is the safest. If I'm on the east side, I'm a drug dealer. If I'm on the north side, I'm a pimp. If I'm on the west side, I'm a gang banger. And if I'm in if I'm in Calaway on the south side of wherever I'm a nigga, I'm never a citizen. Never. Yep. Never just a citizen. And we are just a number. Alright man. Take the camera boy. Take the camera boy on YouTube, my man. That's it. All right, man. Hey, take the camera boy on YouTube, bro. I'm gonna do it now. I got over 100,000 subscribers. You got a new one. Yeah. All right, man. That's it. Thank you. Take the camera boy.